Hey guys, uh, Tuba Play Negative AE. My recording software didn't work for like five seconds, so uh, it's ahead a couple measures of dialogue, but it's not, you didn't miss anything. What? They're just talking about the arcade machine. But Fuyuko makes a good point. Huh? You two, do you really want to kill someone that badly? Cause, cause... So that's what I'm saying. It's like everybody should just play the game. Fuyuko was like, we should just play the game. It, we, we should. Mm. Nope. It doesn't matter, huh? It doesn't matter. I won't let another killing happen. Killing. I I'll will never, never ever it. let another killing happen. Shikaki, you know that's brave of you. You're not as built as Byakia was, though. Uh, ding dong, ding dong. Okay. Yeah, it's time for bed. Ahem. Hope speak. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Sweet dreams. Yep. Alright, so it's time to go. Huh? It's already that time, huh? It's better if we just take a break for today. Hmm. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. That's the correct thing for me to do. But... But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. Um... Me too. It's definitely impossible. For now. Then we should just return for the day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Burdened by the uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still. That was totally unexpected. I can't believe she said actually said something like that so forcefully. I will never ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all of this in her own way, but sleepy. I can't read her at all. So even if there's a motive in the thing, I don't understand. Like what could possibly be a motive to kill someone? Is doing nothing at all correct? Why would you not just play the game? Everybody play the game, everybody will know what the motive is, and then we're all informed. And then it's like, well, okay, fuck, that sucks, but uh, we all know what the motive is, so everybody's gonna know how the killing is gonna happen. There's no way I'd understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. Monica with theater is popping up a lot. This is troubling. You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I'm so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle is to, is challenging new things. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they could do anything they want without worrying about anything. That's all from Monica. Man. Being successful is tough. <laughs> Past successes. Past successes. Past successes. It's a game about four Ahem. high school girls. Hope Speak Academy Ahem. School Trip Executive Committee has good more now then. Let's Yep. Free time? No, it's restaurant time. Everybody goes to the restaurant in the morning. It's a routine. It's a ritual. Uh, I happen to bump into. Hey! Huh? Huh? Oh, it's you, Fuyuko. Oh, unlucky. I have to see your face this morning. Hey, bastard! Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to the restaurant right now, right? Were you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up! Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. Saying going back, did you go somewhere? It's got nothing to do with hey, you. didn't I tell you? I <laughs> is, is, is it that game? What? What, oh, what do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what, what's, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up. You. What makes you think you have any right to question me? I'm not trying to question you. It was just... Are you saying you don't like the fact that I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you going to tie me up like Nagato? Seriously, I, d I didn't mean... Dumbass! Don't ever talk to me again. If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you. Um, hello? <laughs> that guy, he's going to be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Um, you see, I feel like... You no, know, everyone's rude to him, just like Monami. Like, everybody's rude to Monami and stuff. I don't want to talk to these guys. Gundam Taka and what's her name? Screw those guys. I don't even care about those guys. I could care less if Gundam Taka dies. 
If Gundam Talk is the next to die, I'll go, go, sure, for sure. Hey, what's going on, girl? What? What? She was so nice and attentive. She even battled against me. I'm so happy I was able to play with a friend. Thank you very much, Shikaki. You think so? You don't have to thank me for that. I had a lot of fun, too. Hey, hey. Hey, if you'd like, do you want to battle one more time? <laughs> yes, yes, please. Yeah, I guess Shikaki has a sweet side, too. Uh, Chikaki's always been sweet. Or Chiaki. I just call her Chikaki. She's just, she's just Chikaki to me. Chiaki, Chikaki. Hey, girl. Uh, you're the only one here? Uh, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Hey. I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we leave him all tied up, he's gonna starve. Hmm. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? There's no way we can keep him tied up forever. Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. What, what does that mean? I actually went to see Nagato earlier. I kindly bought him breakfast. Jeez. And then listen to this. He seriously pisses me off. Do you understand? He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's what you're running back and forth. Uh, that must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Hey, hey! Then bring this to Nakato on my behalf, huh? Jeez. I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. Not only that, I remember that I have a little business to take care of. Business? Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll leave the rest to you. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's that's a little suspicious right there. Uh, let's, yeah, that's let's a little suspicious. Uh, but yeah, I, I do want to go see... Oh, I should have just hit R to exit out of the building. Oh my goodness, I suck so hard. Just hit R. Yes, I would like to go outside. Alright, hotel site. Um, excuse me, dude. You suck. I'm just, I'm just going and I don't care about Kazuichi. What? If we're not inside, if we're not allowed inside, why is Nagato inside? Huh? You know about it too, Hajime? Because um. Nekomaru and Kazuichi <laughs> earnestly told me that Monami is the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagato needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to Nagato. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Hey. Starve? Ho oh, well. ho. It's okay to go inside, though. Yes, make sure you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. Thank you, Monami. You're great. You're awesome, actually. Hey, what's going on, dude? Yep, instinctively, why? Why? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why are you nervous? Just go in there. He's tied up. It's not as it, I saw him on the other side. He's waiting for me with a big smile on his face. Hajime? Uh, hey. Could it be... Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? <laughs> wow, I'm so happy. Just untie the dude. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality, but feel free to relax. He's the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but I... One couldn't help the feeling, but one I couldn't help that feeling huh? at that moment. What happened? Your face looks kind of scary. I didn't come here to talk. I just came to bring you some food. So come on, eat it. Oh, you're not going to feed me. What do you mean? Well, I can't eat it on my own. You know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed to ask a girl to feed me. So I'm glad you're the one who came. Huh. Oh, I get it. Friggin' Mahiru. This, that must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Yeah. Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about... 
Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really like that game a lot. Don't change the subject. I'm asking huh. you. Oh well, I'm a little disappointed. Huh. It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. Mm. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, that is, you guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. It almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I'm just putting it off. But I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Uh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Hey! Huh? What? Why? See, he's just a crazy person. Just feed him. I already talked to him, and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. It's really okay to leave that game alone. Well, I'm not doing anything about it. Someone else is. No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's... Something else I need to do. Hey! Alright, free time. <clears throat> yeah, leave here. So, I gotta go find where Chikaki is. Not Chikaki, or Chiaki. Uh, I wanna find uh, Mikan, but I also wanna go to the Mart. So, let me go to the Mart first. Um, I'm thinking if I. If I Buy tissues again, she'll be fine. Is it this way to get to the shop? Yep, it's like right here. So, there's nothing like for her in this thing. Yeah, purchase something. I still don't have very much. Uh, I'm trying to figure out tips and tips second edition. Go stone. I don't know what a go stone would do for her. I like this the tissue because she cries a lot. She cries a bunch over everything. So I'm thinking that if I buy her tissues, uh, it's inexpensive. And uh, she liked it last time, so that seems to be pretty good. Uh, so map, let's see if we can find her. Nope, she's not there. Where is she? Yep. She's always in the pharmacy. She's always in the pharmacy. I'm level 20, but I don't know what that means for me. I don't know, because they haven't introduced like skills or anything for anything. So I don't know what, that, what's, what that's going to mean for me. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what skills are. They, they said level up to increase the skills that you have. Hey girl, so this is probably our last meeting. Yes. I want to look at something that will calm me down. I feel tired for lots of reasons. Went to the ranch and watching the animals helped us feel a bit peaceful. Looks like Mikan and I grew a bit closer. Yes, definitely. I would like to give her more tissues. Tissues, 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 tissues. Please order me around whenever you want, Dots. Her silence seems different than usual, like she's staring off into space. Hey, Mikan, is something wrong? Uh, Hajime, when did you... I've been talking to you for a while now. Um, really? Uh, I'm so sorry for saying something so rude. You're mad, right? You'd normally get mad right now, right? There's no way I get mad about something like this. 
Is that normal? Why? Why isn't anyone pouring water me uh, on me or throwing mud at me? Does everyone hate me or something? Why is everyone doing... Why isn't everyone... Why everyone isn't doing anything to me? You're still talking like that. It's not like that. Everyone is doing anything to you because they don't hate you. Uh, but doesn't that mean that they actually don't care whether I exist or not? <laughs> Nobody cares about me. Maybe what scares Mikan the most isn't violence or being hated. Maybe it's when nobody isn't interested in her at all. I see. So that's why Mikan has been trying to avoid that. So no matter... I can't believe I finally realized that. What's wrong with me? Hey Mikan, of course everyone cares about you. Because you're uniquely you. Stop looking at people's faces all the time and try and, and try to lo try looking at yourself more. Take a step back and pay more attention to your surroundings and to yourself. This is this game bringing out some life lessons. I gotta say, I don't even um, because you're just like everyone else. You're our friend. Touching. Couldn't have said it better myself. Friend. Me and everyone else. Dots. Is that even possible? That's what I believe. You don't believe me? Yes. No, of course I do. Thank you very much. I want to believe in you. Because you because are the person who has forgiven me. I know it's difficult to change all at once, but I really want her to change little by little. That's what I felt like when I looked at Mikan's smile. I can feel a strong bond between Mikan and myself. If possible, I want to watch over her just a little bit longer, even after we leave this island. Because it's not Mikan's fault at all. Yes! Mikan's report card is updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill, Silent Message. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. What? What? Why? Why do I have that? After an enjoyable conversation with Mikan, I went back to my room. So... Silent... What is that skill? Can I check that skill? Or maybe I should spend time with someone. Free time. Okay, so I've... I've, I've uh, figured out everything about Mikan. So... I should just talk to her every so often, just so I don't... Um, uh, the Focus Gods recovers at a fast... Or Gage re recovers at a faster raid. Cool. Um, and the Phantom Dark Sash. Cool. Uh, that's that's a cool thing to have. I wonder how fast. It, how much faster though? Uh, she thinks people who don't bully her don't care about her. Explaining me kind of she was my friend and all I want to do is take care of her from now on. That's nice. Alright, so who's next? Chikaki would be the logical option, but, um, like Sour Stuff Ultimate Tree. I feel like it would be really nice to have uh, Sayanji on our side. Uh, also, also this girl, but I feel like she's being very suspicious right now. Very suspicious. 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 Um, so we're gonna go after Sayanji, I think. We could go after Fuhiko, but uh, Fuhiko would be a pain in the butt to uh, get done. Yeah. We should actually kind of talk to Fuhiko, maybe? Uh, the focus has not been on Sayanji, though, so I know she's safe. So I know I'll have uh, free time. If anything, the, the next conflict's going to be with Shikaki because there's a game thing involved. So it's, Chigaki's gonna have something to do with next time. Uh, so let's look at our map to see where everybody is. Uh, we want to talk to... We want to talk to Sayanji. So we're gonna go outside. There's Sayanji. So we're gonna go here. And where was that? The Rocket Punch Market. Uh, let's buy a quick present. 
we'll buy a quick present there before we talk to her, and then we'll hang out. Um, we'll hang out. I don't know what she would like. She probably like those dolls in there, right? She's probably a person that would like dolls. Uh, so let's let's um, purchase something. Let's try purchasing something. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking so. I'm thinking so. Chocolate chip jerky sounds weird to me. Uh, so we're gonna leave that alone. Yeah, you should probably get going. All right, Sionji. What's going on? Why? Yeah. Even though I can't really read between the lines, I still tried to calm Miyoko down as much as I, as best I can. Definitely. I want to give her uh, whatever I just got. It's this, whatever this is, uh, dolls. <laughs> So I guess I'm satisfied hey, for now. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks. Hey, hey! Hey, Hajime. I've been thinking this ever since I first met you. But will you get mad if I say it? You know, I'm, I'm pretty much... I pretty much don't care. I don't... I'm not going to get mad every time you say something to me. I see. Then I'm going to say it. Um... Um, I've been thinking this ever since I first met you. <laughs> you have a shady looking face. And you look like the kind of person who's too, too lazy to try hard. And not only that... I think you're so hopeless for coming after me like some pedo pervert. Hold on. If you think I have a shady looking face, well I guess I can let that slide. But you better take back that last part. When did I even come after you? Ugh, huh? You said you wouldn't get mad. You know, you're right. I'm sorry. Crap, there's no way I can leave her alone when she's acting like this. Sorry, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Please don't cry anymore. Then if you're really sorry, can you buy me something? Buy me the thing I like? Huh? What the heck? Sniffle. Fine, what do I have to buy you? Uh, it's shaped like a star, it's small, it's cute, and it's sweet. She's probably talking about... Candy? Hey! Wrong. It's not something that boring. <laughs> it's smaller and cuter than normal candy. What the hell? She's probably talking about crumpets. Conf confietto? What is that? Con she nodded silently. At least she stopped crying. You want me to go buy it right now? Jeez. Just so you know, you won't find that in the supermarket, huh? Really? Yes, yes. Jeez, Hajime, you're such a pushover. You totally promised me without realizing it was poss it, it was impossible. You even got tricked by my fake crying. No, you definitely weren't faking this, dude. <laughs> Jeez, you're so hopeless. I guess I'll go easy on you and make you buy me something else. Let's see. Go steal Sonya's panties from her. Sonya's panties from her. Are you trying to make me a criminal? Bitch, bitch, bitch. Bring me Gundam's earring, then. <laughs> and you better steal it. I don't want you to borrow it. You, you really don't want it, do you? You're just trying to make me suffer. Let me bring you something... Bring you a different snack. I'll go get something you like. Why? Aw, but they don't have anything cute there. I gotta have something cute, like flower candies made with refined Japanese sugar. You spoiled little brat. There's no way I can get you those kinds of traditional candies here. Ah, but just as I thought, you really do like the traditional Japanese candy, hey, huh? Hey. Well, it's so elaborately made that it's practically art. They're so small, sparkly, and cute. I love them so much. <laughs> Foreign sweets are made with too much sugar, so they're perfect for uncultured idiots. If she hadn't said that last part, I would have been impressed. I was going to say, yeah, like that was a long time before she insulted somebody. This is Yoko, after all. I guess I just have to accept it. But I do feel like I understand Yoko a little bit more now. Cool. Uh, asked me to do impossible things for all day. When I uh, I was wiped out. Okay, so I want to keep talking to her because she'd be a she's she's a good 
She's a good. She's like. She's a good defender. She says it like it is. Ahem. Hope speak. It is now 10 p.m. Yep. Please return to your rooms and relax. Okay. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Good night. Dots. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep, but I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagato said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. I should give it a try. Just a little. Just to see how it is. Okay. So... So they're gonna make me go over to the game. This will be interesting. This will be an interesting series of events. Series of events. So Chikaki's here. Ooh, so everybody's out of their cottage. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Huh? Where are you going at this hour? The Monokuma announcement was just made. Well, you know, what about you? Where, what were you doing? Hey, hey. I was about to go to my cottage. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean, you know? Uh, I felt a little hungry, so I was thinking about getting a snack from either the restaurant or the supermarket. Hmm. I see. I'll be going now, so I'll see you later. Hajime. Hajime. Yep. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh. Do not tell me. Do not tell me. Do not tell me. Gosh, freaking darn it. I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't remember to watch this. What are you guys doing now? Hey, hey, hey. What's with that laugh? You sound creepy. Can't help myself. I just heard something big. Right. Whoa well, there. I can't give any details yet, but when the time comes... <laughs> well, now then, I'm gonna go to bed already. I'll see you tomorrow. What was that about? I agree. What was that about? What are you two talking about over here? I'm gonna talk to you because you're sensible. Have a minute. Hachime, good timing. There's something I wanted to ask you. Me? What is it? No. I wanted to hear your... I mean... A general opinion. What, what, huh? Is this about what we were discussing earlier? What were Pekka and Nekamaru talking anyway. about? Regarding my inquiry. Do Nekamaru and I really look like we're cosplaying as different characters? <laughs> huh? Cosplay? Jeez. When I walk down the street, I'm often told, I look like a fighter from this game, or a martial artist from that game. <laughs> and I can't understand what they're talking about. No matter how you look at it, I'm... I'm only a team manager. No matter how I look at it, that's clearly not true. <laughs> that happens to me too. One time, I was cornered by a strange group of people holding cameras. It was very annoying. So what did you do? If you don't understand polite requests to stop, it's not my fault if I am forced to get a little violent. I think it's better if I don't know the details. <laughs> but Pekka, we must confirm it with Hajime. No matter how others view us, we are ourselves. There is nothing to worry about. You're right, I agree. I apologize, Hajime. Just forget about it. So anyway, why are you here? What are you doing out so late? Well, I couldn't really go to sleep, so I was thinking about going out for a little walk. I see. I see. Be careful, then. It doesn't mean anything is going to happen, but you should just be careful just in case. Alright. So, that's good. I gotta remember to check my pet and clean up the poop. Because I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, oh yeah, so I'm going to Jabberwock Park, so I should just go there. Map. Jabberwock. I feel like Chikaki's going to be here. And Chiaki's going to be here. She's going to be like, hey, uh, Hajime, what are you, uh, what are you doing? So here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. That's what I'm thinking. So I should just go for it. This is cool. It's like the first time I'm doing something evil. Let's go. I guess now I should try paying a little. I ca cautiously stood in front of the arcade game, and the screen automatically li lifted up. As I faced the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. Monokuma Soft, licensed by Monokuma Inc. 
This game is a work of nonfiction. Any resemblances to real persons living or dead is purely intentional. This game has a strange old fashioned vibe to it. I wonder who's controlling Monokuma. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? Oh well, I should try to start it up. If I press the escape key, right? Let's begin. Press the escape key with your own hands. Okay. Second day. Girl A. Ah, it's already late. I'm gonna be an hour. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, are they? They're waiting in classroom 1A. Oh, wow. Okay. So, restoration room. Like how the music is the music from the game. So there's 1A. They go in. Okay. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? I'm so sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. Don't be mad. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go and talk to girl B for now. Which one's girl B? We're here because you had something important to say, right? What's this about? It's obviously about... It's about yesterday's incident. You already saw the newspaper, right? Yeah. Huh? What newspaper? God, you're such a slow puck, spoke girl, eh? <laughs> I like this. In today's, it was in, it was in today's evening newspaper, newspaper. This one here. Or this one, here you go. Just read it. Okay. Female student clubbed to death. Uh, July 8th, around 6 a.m., a janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The music had been... The student has been forcefully struck in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. It seems the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, authorities say, the investigation is ongoing and believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. Girl A. Girl B. Um, I was I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have snuck into the school and so they might be thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen too. That sick, twisted bastard. Sneaking into a school to, still, to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out the window? Yeah, we're all in danger too. Uh, but is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body, and we kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right. All we did was find a body and not report it. It's not really a crime. But still. I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Is it right? Isn't that right, girl D? Yeah, I agree, but... <laughs> What's up? You don't seem so sure, girl C. Girl D, um, actually I have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk about? Gosh darn it. To be honest, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I would take them just in case. Where are those photos now? I have them. Right here. Well, I, I don't want to look at them. We're definitely going to get cursed. Cursed? Stupid curses aren't even real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Ah, uh, hey! Um. Uh, hello? Girl E. You're looking a little suspicious there. Uh, I just said curses don't exist. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them into this incinerator. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Uh, okay. Girlie, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? Never mind. Let's just forget about the whole incident. Girlie. 
We had nothing to do with it, and we weren't the ones to discover the body. Okay? The end. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Fourth day. Is that the day that I'm currently on? I don't know what day I'm on. Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now. Uh, then I guess I'm gonna have to go back on my own. I think this is around the time the incident occurred, too. Ah, oh, jeez, why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right. I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. I... I won't let you forget. Huh? What is this, um... <laughs> is this corpse party up in here? I won't let you forget. You're gonna be hanging yourself in the bathroom? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. Forgive me. Forgive me. Never. Never, ever, 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 never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. Okay. I'm still interested to see what's going to make me kill someone in this game. Ah, girl A. What, what happened? Did something happen? Th this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, ugh. Her head is split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. It's the curse. It's all the curse's fault. Because of the curse, girl E. What happened to girl E? Take a look and clap. In classroom 1B. Um, is this 1B? One F. Can I run? No. I'm yellow. Where's classroom 1B? Is it this way? Yes. Hello, classroom 1B. Go in. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Oh wow, that's a real life picture. Game over, down five. Hello? Hello? Dots. Huh? Th this is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game's structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden, and then jumped to the fourth day afterward. Where? Why were the first and third days skipped? And what's with this down five message on the game over screen? Down five. Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How could this be the motive? How would this be the motive? Okay, so other people have played this game. So, so here's my theory. Other people have played this game. This is what it's like to play a crappy game. For now, it's a waste of time to just stay here, so I should go back to my cottage and think about it. People have played the game, and I'm guessing that they played like the first and third day, and then like something, whatever, and I'm the fifth person to play it, is kind of what I'm throwing together in my head. As I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. Alright. So at this... Hey, um... We'll, we'll end after Monokuma Theater. Life isn't just about moving the world forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't fe been feeling well at all this morning, so I went to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But when it's about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly, an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman sign on the restroom door. As, as I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No. Why am I even hes hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting this urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for gentlemen, and aw what awaited me was another important question. The important question that stood before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs for each door. I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes it what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? 
Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions waiting for you. Brought to you by Monokuma. That's what life is all about. I don't know what those are, but they the that's in, they're interesting. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This has been Tubal Player Negative AE. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't, let me know. Uh, also, subscribe if you feel necessary. Leave a comment if you want to have a conversation, because that's how we do. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace out, guys. Oh, wait, I forgot that my thing is different. So I have to end it like this. All right, peace out, guys.